and signs and symbols of a mortal man. Listen to what uh, Dr. Clark of Albert Church would say about uh, the people of the South Pacific, the uh, uh, so-called Aboriginal Australians or whatnot. Listen to this. Thus, we see these people actually are the present day symbolically carrying out the performing parts of the ceremony of the earliest ritual of the ancient Egyptians and the ancient hieroglyphs and many words of the language of the historical race to express their ideas of the remote Australian Bushmen. Okay, before I read that, but listen. So the Australian Bushman, he still uses his signs and symbols and language. So his writing is still African. The people of the Pacific is still African in their language, customs, cultures, and writing. So the aboriginals a so-called Aboriginal, which that them are just Melanesia, Polynesia, Aboriginal Australians, uh, uh, Tasmania, uh, 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 uh what they call it, uh, 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 Papua New Guinea or whatnot. All of them are still using African Egyptian languages, which proves, and you can see in every one of those cultures. Like I said, even the Hawaiians, Maui or whatnot, even those, they got a maritime history. Saying that they people were great uh, boatsmen or whatnot. They were great seamen. You go down to Easter Island, the same thing. So the African circumnavigated the world teaching before everybody. That's period. You talk about in the ancient world. Listen to what it says here. Even in ancient uh, America, uh, South and in Mexico, South America and in Mexico, we see, listen to this now, Listen to this. A cultural similarity between ancient Egypt and uh ancient South America and in Mexico. Which proves the contact. Which proves the contact through language, writing, symbology, archaeology, botany. Because listen to what he say. He go to botany right here. It says if oh, we have found a cotton in the Americas with uh, 13 new world, old, new world chromosomes and 13 old world chromosomes. We have found the same plant in Africa which has been genetically matched to the ones in America. So that's botany. That's botany. So you got, uh, you got the bodies or who y'all call it aboriginals, which they have checked. Those are foreign incursions, which mean they came from somewhere else, period. So who y'all calling the aborigines, which y'all are not, y'all are not, y'all are not aboriginal. Even the, uh, Africans in the Pacific speak it in the African language to this present day. To this present day. Period. The Jawara tribe over there, the Buku tribe, the Baka tribe, all of those are African tribes. Period. So, listen to this. In the earliest form, they have no knowledge of their God as latter Egyptians. At the evolution of the mythos of the stellar calendar, these types of powers were un 
undergoing uh, div divisionation, breaking them up. But far they had, far as they had advanced here in Australia, New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and those new hybrids, it is not possible to say. From research, all of these appear to be part of one with of those of Mexico, North American Indians were farther advanced in their knowledge, but it was more heavy in Egypt and Ethiopia. It was, the knowledge was more heavy in Egypt and Ethiopia and have not been forgotten uh, amongst the ancient Mexicans, ancient Mexico, and ancient Native Americans have retained a lot of those rituals, signs, and symbols of the culture today match with the ancient Nubians and ancient Egyptians to this very day. And that's Dr. Clark and Albert Church were out the book signs and symbols of primordial man. So we can see that the peoples down in Mexico, even the Afro-Asiatic ones in the ancient world spoke an African language. They had African writing. They had African religion. They had African rituals. They had uh, the African gods were the same. Were the same. And so when I showed in the lecture one that y'all did not get to see because they flagged it or whatnot. I showed all the languages. See, that's what y'all didn't get to see. But I showed all the languages of ancient North, South America, or whatnot, and Central America. And then I showed the ancient African and New, the ancient Egyptian and Nubian languages. And the shit matched perfect. It matched perfect. Now the thing is, cause they'll say, oh man, uh, the uh, Aborigines went to Africa and talked to Africans. The thing about that is, you got 50 million manuscripts in ancient Africa, and ancient, just say Egypt. You only, you don't have zero here. Because you got to have a blueprint. You just can't come out with stuff out the, flying out the sky about to crack of your ass and just coming up with a bunch of knowledge. You have to write it down, plan it out first, make sure the mathematics work out. You see what I'm saying? You just can't come. That's just like what we say about the calendar. You can't make a calendar before you're born. And you got to be here to map out the time of the solar or linear calendars or whatnot. You have to be here to see it in action. But if you're not born yet, there's no way you can do those calculations. So we know that African people is the oldest people just off linguistics alone. You have no older writings. History start with writing. Okay? History start with writing. That's why I, I stress that so much. History start with writing. And there's no older writings than the ones in the Nile Valley. That just facts. That just facts. That just facts. So, and we, like I said, the images that showed up are Egypto Nubian in America. So, I that, that proves who those people are. And we got the manuscripts in Mali that says that Abu Kari II lost the throne to Mount Samusa because he wanted to come to uh, 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 the big continent uh, 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 to the west. To find his ancient brothers and sisters. Who you think he was talking about? He was talking about the Nubians. He said 5,000 years ago. We have the manuscript. This ain't nothing we just flying off at the mouth. We, nigga I seen it. So. 
that kills that Aboriginal story. Cause there've been floods and floods of Africans coming in here since the early 1500s. And when they got here, them little Asiatic mongoloid people was here. So that kills that. That kills that. Y'all like, subscribe, and share. I'm killing the elbows. They still on trial. Chop out.